Hey y'all, it is my daily reading number 341. And I'm going to be reading out of Don't Sweat the Small Stuff. And it's all small stuff. Does it say and? Yeah, it does. How to Keep the Simple Things from Taking Over Your Life by Richard Carlson, PhD. Did I get it right? No. It's Simple Ways to Keep the Little Things from Taking Over Your Life. By Richard Carlson, PhD. I was testing myself. I didn't get it. I hope I don't have stuff in my teeth. I just had a burrito. I made some homemade guacamole. Tweaked the recipe to make it my own. And it is delicious. And I think I'm going to make a bean dip tomorrow. Using my homemade guacamole. And I'm going to make homemade salsa to do that minus the cheese because I can't find any vegan cheese that cooperates well with my blood type diet so I have everything else except for the cheese okay number 85 transform your rate let me start over transform your relationship to your problems hmm transform your relationship Okay, I got it. Transform your relationship to your problems. In other words, how are you in a relationship to problems? So it has nothing to do with the relationships. I was like thinking one thing and reading something that didn't make... See how it didn't make sense? Because how I was perceiving it in my head was not as it was written in the book. See how your mind can play tricks on you? It's a great example. Okay. Transform your relationship to your problems. Obstacles and problems are a part of life. True happiness comes not when we get rid of all of our problems, but when we change our relationship to them. When we see our problems as a potential source of awakening, opportunities to practice patience and to learn. That was one whole sentence. That was a long sentence. I got lost in that sentence. <laughs> Let me try it again and see if I can get it to come out some correct way. I don't know. It's so long. I think I need to rehearse that particular sentence. Hmm. Okay, here we go. We'll try again. True happiness comes not when we get rid of all of our problems, but when we change our relationship to them. When we see our problems as a potential source of awakening, opportunities to practice patience and to learn. There you have it. Perhaps the most basic principle of spiritual life is that our problems are the best places to practice keeping our hearts open. Certainly, some problems need to be solved. Many others, however, are problems we create for ourselves by struggling to make our life different than it actually is. Inner peace is accomplished by understanding and accepting the inevitable contradictions of life, the pain and pleasure, success and failure, joy and sorrow, births and deaths. Problems can teach us to be gracious, humble, and patient. Hmm, that is so true. In the Buddhist tradition, difficulties are considered to be so important to a life of growth and peace that a Tibetan prayer actually asks for them. It says... Grant that I may be given appropriate difficulties and sufferings on this journey so that my heart may be truly awakened and my practice of liberation and universal compassion may be truly fulfilled. Hmm. Quite interesting. It is felt that when life is too easy, there are fewer opportunities for genuine growth. I wouldn't go so far as to recommend that you seek out problems. I would, however, suggest that if you spend less time running away from problems 
and trying to rid yourself of them, and more time accepting problems as an inevitable, natural, even important part of life, you will soon discover that life can be more of a dance and less of a battle. This philosophy of acceptance is the root of going with the flow. Go with the flow. I like this. I like this little one. A little brief reading. I think it's full of really good information. Ooh, acceptance. Yes. Well, I really can't say I have anything to add to that because it was very profound. I think. I think it's something I need to remember as well. Now that I've come to be less attached to outcomes of life, though, my life is much more peaceful. And I think that sort of has something to do with this here information that was shared in this book so yeah anyway i know it's late and i still have plenty i want to accomplish before bed although i feel i've accomplished much today which is good my nose ring sticking out there <laughs> anyways i'm sending out love light and healing energy as they pay it forward and pass it on and until next time peace later